An oven that cooks, a fridge that keeps food cold, washing machines. We take them for granted until they break. Something else we take for granted, being able to buy a new one. It's crazy times we're in right now where the availability of appliances is really, really poor. Um, some categories are non-existent. Michael Regelman is manager of Regelman's Appliance in Gresham. Family owned since 1965, they've never seen an industry-wide appliance shortage like the one they're facing now. With the supply chain, it's a worldwide economy. So products that are built in the U.S., a lot of parts and components come from overseas. Making those parts takes longer now. Factories have cut staff due to the pandemic. Some have closed temporarily because of outbreaks, creating more delays. Then consider the specific nature of appliances, like consumers' needs for exact measurements and features. So the more specific the product is in the supply chain context, the harder it will be to accommodate shocks in the supply chain. Scott Duhadway is an assistant professor of supply chain management for Portland State University. About six months ago, we were in the same situation except with toilet paper. But unlike toilet paper and other generic products, Duhadway says the appliance supply chain will take longer to adjust to current demand. People are home more. They're wearing out their appliances faster. And many consumers are remodeling their kitchens at the same time. And as consumers, I think we have to recognize that uh, what, what are our needs and what are our wants and how do we balance those with what's available within the market. Unless we have the product in stock, the ordering is a lead time of 8 to eight to 12 weeks. That said, Regelman hopes people will wait on replacing appliances that still work so someone who really needs one can have a shot at it. He also encourages repairs when possible. In the meantime, they're doing what they can to help their big refrigerator is dead, we get them a little fridge in the meantime just to get them by. We are selling floor models. We are selling anything we can to make sure that people get products that are able to cook, that are able to sanitize their dishes right now. It's bad and it might not be getting better until next year. If you need an appliance right now, retailers say your best bet is buying what's in stock. Of course, that might mean making a few phone calls and driving some miles, but you won't be waiting the 12 weeks for what's on back order. You can also shop online. Regalman's has a website. We'll post the link on KGW.com. In Gresham, Catherine Cook, KGW News.